Hey guys, welcome uh, to my channel. Um, I bought the Soundcraft UI 16. Um, it actually just arrived today. And uh, I, I couldn't actually find any proper demos on how the um, interface works. And, uh, and then I thought, well, maybe I should just kind of make a quick video for you guys just to, to show you how easy this is and how powerful this tool is. Um, as you can see, it's it's a entry level desk price wise for the amount of channels. It's an amazing little device. It's got um, <clears throat> twelve XLR channels, six of them that can take a jack input, four auxiliary outputs, and um, and of course your main mix, the only actual digital knobs it has. Um, you can take a USB to play media, dump a few songs on a flash drive, and you can play it off there. Or a record directly to flash drive, which is cool. I'm I'm really into that, and it's got its own little Wi-Fi router already built in, so you don't need to to attach alternative Wi-Fi router, but you can if you want to boost your signal. But for my purpose, I want to um, use this for my small band setup. It will be on stage. I will have a premix that I've already done. All right. That being said, let's quickly look at the interface. Um, Quite an easy little interface, amazing little thing. Let me just get this down that you can see better. Um, so <clears throat> before you start, if you have any basic um, knowledge on mixers, you get level and you get gain. Gain is your preamp um, levels. So if your gain is on zero, your preamp is not open and no signal will go through. So you need to open up your gains. A lot of people... Um, has the complaint that the desk doesn't work and um, most of the time it's the fact that they just didn't activate the gain because most of these desks come preset with zero gain or zero thirty um, gain options already on so just click this mix and gain level make sure your gains are open uh, it's important to see that your your line doesn't clip so um, kind of when you start mixing and you have a, a high level coming in you can just kind of drop that down. You also have your high Z options on your first two channels and that's when you have a guitar or something that's a bit softer. You can just put your your high on and just boost the channel it's had. Alright, so make sure your levels are open and you can also activate your phantom power on every individual channel which is amazing and you can flip your um, your phase. So if you have two mics in your drum, your kick drum and then pointing uh, to each other, you can just flip the phase of one that it doesn't phase each other out. Okay, cool. Coming back, got your mute, very easy. Solo, if you know what that is all about, you got your um, your left and right channel. So if you do cymbals or something, you or especially toms, you can kind of try and, and get them around. But I send a mono mix to my FOH. I don't really care about that. <coughs> so there you have. Um, your channel. Now if you want to get into the nitty gritties of your channel, all you do is you double click on your um, on your on, uh, your name underneath. Here you have direct your effects send channels that's on here, but let's quickly just start with your EQ. Your EQ, um, you can actually have an alternate setting to your EQ, which is amazing. Um, you can go and look for the frequencies that you don't like and cut it out, which most live engineers do, or you can go boost those lovely frequencies that you like. It also comes with a bunch of presets that DBX loaded for us. So if you have an acoustic guitar, there's a few presets you can try. It's the two alternate versions of it. Um, if you have a bass guitar, there's a typical bass EQ, and from there you can go on. It's got everything you need. So which is cool for, for um, especially drums, because not a lot of people know how to... to mix drums and you just double click on your kick so we are currently on our acoustic guitar so let's take our acoustic guitar mix then dynamics it's basically compression you guys know about compression your release time attack time so attack means how quick it will attack so if you're mixing um, something like a guitar you don't want too quick attack you want to just release it a bit um, everybody has their own little perspective of how this works but the attack time determines how quickly in the line it actually starts compressing um, gate if you need it which is amazing and um, and you can of course have your release time I prefer to also have my release time not too long 
um, makeup gain for in case there is a bit of loss there, which is amazing. This is built in. Your effects send, you literally have your reverb, delay, chorus, room. It's a lexicon, which is amazing to have. Um, you can choose your kind of reverb. You need to kind of go through it because um, I prefer plate, which it doesn't have here. So I need to go check out which one is the closest to plate. Uh, plate. Um, of course, a lot of nice effects that you can manipulate it here with. Uh, your delay, also lexicon, chorus, but you can add your type of what you, the type of chorus you want. Um, and that you can send to the channel as such. Then auxiliary send, you can actually send the effects to your auxiliary channel as well. Um, but, uh, sorry, this is your actual, uh, effects that you're sending to your uh, aux channel. You have your pre and your post that you can activate. These are linked together. So you have two aux channels currently running on this. Okay. So then you go to your Digitech, which you can actually go and um, select an amp or effect. So let's say a Marshall, um, got a nice little Marshall stack here that you want to activate. Cool. And then you, you can run your electric through this without taking your, um, your, uh, your pedal with you or your amp with you. And there's all the options that's, uh, that's active. So you can actually import or d decrease your reverb, your delay, your chorus, um, room effect, compression. And there you have all the same thing. So you have a whole, um, of course, you activate your high Z if you have an electric guitar going in there, which is, of course, amazing, 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 amazing. So for this, you can literally use it on every channel. And, um, okay, auxiliary sends. Here you have your auxiliary sends on um, on each channel. Now, what's the amazing thing is what I'll show you in a few minutes is the fact that you can actually go and edit your Wi-Fi login. You can log into 10 devices to the, into this desk and you can edit the permissions that every device has, which is phenomenal. So you can have your whole band logged in their phones or their pads or their computers and doing their own little mix. So the drummer doesn't want to hear the lead vocalist that way. He wants to hear the lead vocalist, but he doesn't want to lead, hear the BVs. And he wants, of course, wants to hear the kicks and everything. Um, and there you have, you have your own little control over your mixes. For instance, say you're running, um, a track. Let's say BV1 and 2 is your track and your click. Um, and you say, okay, cool. I want to click on left here. And I want, um, track in both ears, but you kind of want to be able to, to control your click separately so you send that via aux2 um, to your drums which is of course amazing your effects send that you can send to every channel separately um, you have your room here that you can the main effects that you can um, edit and of course you've got all your different effects that you can uh, use so if you for instance use a room effect for your drum set, you can have everything muted on that effect over here, or actually just muted there, and uh, you can then take it and put it on your kit as needed um, to kind of just create yourself, here is your line in, um, create that kind of effect that you need. Rock and roll, okay, cool. Um, your inputs, returns, subgroups. Of course, it's got a subgroup function, which is amazing. Um, you just direct it directly to the subgroup. Uh, all right. Then lastly, you can, um, you have, uh, your meter on every channel. You can have your, um, uh, your, your gain. Uh, between you and the and the band, you can have a, um, of course, also available for people that log in separately. Mute, mute your effects and everything. There's always also a, a, a little knob for a effects pedal that can be plugged in that you can actually separately mute the effects while you're talking, which is amazing. Um, okay, cool. And then something else that's also cool is the fact that you can have effects. <coughs> 
and compression on your master bus. So this is just the basic EQ that I put on the FOH, and that runs through everything. So after you've done your your main mix on your console, you can then um, you can then so you've mixed you've done all your mixes on your BVs and everything, and now you can go and do the same on your master. So I've got EQ, dynamic range, very basic, just not so it doesn't clip your effects that you can also put on there if you want, and your aux sends from your main, which is absolutely amazing. Lastly, um, <coughs> you have your main setup, where you can do so many things. Network setup, of course, your access. You, uh, I enabled a password for my device so other people can log in but they only have access to the aux levels and aux processing so they can um, alternate with uh, they can actually um, edit their own aux channels but they can't edit my mix or my processing or my gain my player my master levels master processing so they can't edit these things then I have created this um, page for myself so what I do is um, I then save um, and I can, this is just a demo that I'm running, but you can save then um, on your band name and recall it. You can also save an offline version, export it and import it to a new one if you'd like. A um, bunch of settings that you can do if you need to, to go more into details, but um, the versatility of this device is just amazing for the price. And uh, yeah, I've just, like I said, I just bought one. And this is one of the things I could download the demo of the th of the um, interface. So yeah, I hope this helped you make a decision. And once again, I am not a pro on this yet, so so please have grace to my lingo and um, and my insight to it. I just thought I would maybe give you some um, some insight for those that hasn't actually seen anything like this. Cool, rock and roll. Hope you have a good day.